Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Disney store haul. Yay! Um, I wanted to film another video today. I actually have a couple of videos. I have a couple of videos in the pipeline, but my family, I've told some of you of this already, but some, some of my family members have been sick in my household. So it has been a hard time taking care of everyone else. I am thankfully not sick right now. But my daughter's been sick. My son has had some sickness. My, my husband is sick right now. So being caregiver 24-7 is exhausting. And there's other videos that I want to get filmed, but I just don't have the time to do that right now. So I am a little behind. But I wanted to share what I got from, I don't know, I'm showing my bag because it's my regular tote bag. But I wanted to share what I got from the Disney store. So that includes some of the Wisdom Collection from this past month's release in February. And then I also have a couple of non-Wisdom Collection items as well. So I want to share all of that right now. So if you like these types of videos, please click the subscribe button. Be part of our community. I have a lot of Disney hauls. I do a lot of hauls on my channel all the time. So I love sharing my Disney love with you guys. And if you like those types of videos, click subscribe. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with what I was really surprised to see and it was the mug. So this past month they came out with the move on part of the wisdom collection. I showed you guys on my channel last month was Dumbo. I have the pins behind me. I have my plush over there on my desk and that's all I got. I did not get the notebook. I did not get the t-shirt. I did not get the mug. However, I'm a big Mulan fan and I went to my store not the day of the release but the day after the release on Sunday and I was surprised to see that my local store had exactly one mug left. It was in the display case and I just happened to mention it to a cast member. I said, hey, you have the, the, the mug and the pins on display. Can you sell that? And she checked with her coworker and told me that if it's in the display and you see it and you ask for it, yes, you can go ahead and buy it. So. Sorry, my son is playing at my feet, so this is kind of confusing. At any rate, so she pulled this mug out of the case and gave it to me, and I really like that it says Disney Wisdom in the nice red print. I'm a big Mulan collector, and these do stack just like the mugs from last year's uh, Mickey Memories collection. I don't actually have any of those mugs. I think I had one at one point, and I ended up returning it because I decided I just don't have the mug space. However, Mulan, guys, Mulan. I'm a big Mulan fan. This is one of my favorite Disney films outside of The Little Mermaid, so I had to break down and get it when I saw they had one mug left. It was a sign. So this is what the mug actually looks like. It says, flowers, the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. And that's actually a quote from the emperor himself, so that's pretty cool, because I do actually do remember when he says this in the movie. And I just like that it's such a pretty, pretty mug. I like the quote. And then of course on the back you have Mushu himself and Cricky. So very sweet design and again they only had one left. These are worth a lot of money so if I in the future decide I don't longer want it I could probably sell it and make a little buck maybe. I don't know. I decided I wanted this one and I like the red and I actually do have a lot of Hong Kong and Shanghai pins on the way to me right now. Um, we'll actually just have one pin left on its way to me. I have my Hong Kong pins ready to film in a different haul for you guys. But I'm waiting on my Shanghai delivery, which is taking some time. But to go with that, I'll maybe I'll put this in the background. I don't know. But I just really like Milan and the red color, and this was just speaking to my soul. And with one left in the store, I took that as a sign. So while I was in my store, since they had the mug and the notebook and the pins on display, I also asked them to go ahead and take out the pins for me. So here you go. And if my camera is moving around right now, it's because my son is literally going through my feet with a walker toy. Kids. Um, but anyway, here we go. This is the next item in the Disney Wisdom Collection that I did get this past month. I have it upside down. And this is Mushu himself. And then you have the plaque that has the exact same quote and Cricky. I will take it out of the plastic to give you guys a closer look. But basically this was $16.95 and I think well worth it because it's Mulan. <laughs> so I went back and forth the previous month of whether I wanted to get these pins or not, but given that this is Mulan again and I do like this pin a lot, I decided to go ahead and get it. Um, it's just, it's Mulan guys. I could not pass this up, but I thought this was a really sweet collection. I do like that it says the flower that blooms diversity is the most rare and beautiful of all again in a nice little plaque. And Mushu just looks really, really cute. So I surprised myself, and the only item that I didn't go out of my way this month to get 
was the plush itself. I'm running out of room for plushies. I have a lot of plushies and I honestly didn't like Mushu as much as I liked Dumbo from last month. As much as I like it, it just looked too much like the regular Mushu with the quote blasted all over it. And I didn't think I would have a place for that in my household so I went ahead and did not get that. However, sorry the camera just moved again guys. My son is all over the place right now. But this was the first time that I have ever received Disney mail in the mail and just didn't care because I had just picked up those pins in person because I saw them and I just wanted to grab them right then and there. But I did have this on its way already and I already had paid for this so now I have two. So I am planning on maybe putting this in a future giveaway or selling it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet but I have two. And this was the one that I already had previously ordered online. I'd stayed up that night, even though I was really, really tired. And I was just like, so ready to go to bed. I stayed up just for this release. These pins were the last thing that actually showed up online. It took forever. But once they did, I clicked order. And it was annoying too, because I actually have two of those. Um, I have them right here. I had two of these uh, shipping coupons that makes your shipping free. And you get these from the Disney store when they have an item not in the actual local store. They will give this to you so that you can order online. I chose not to order the item online or I did a combination of things, whatever the case may be. I still had two left and these expired at the end of last year. So I went to put it in the computer. It didn't work and I said, darn it, I have to pay $6 for shipping now for these pins. So I paid extra just to get these pins, but I just didn't want to go to the store and it just happened that I happened to be in the area. The next day we were killing time and I had my husband drop me off so I could just check out what that store happened to have and saw the mug and the pin. So I have two of these. That's my long story short. Two of these beautiful pin sets and I know this will find a beautiful home somewhere, some way, somehow. So even though I got it in the mail, ah, that's my first time opening it because I just didn't care. Let's see what my total was. Oh, actually, I forgot about this. I did have a Shop Disney credit. So even though that price was $16.95, the one that I ordered online actually only called me, cost me $1.95 because I had a $15 credit. So there you go. It was $1.95 plus $5.95 shipping for a total of $8.66 with the sales tax <laughs> for those pins. <laughs> okay, so on that same trip, I also purchased a couple of non-Wisdom Collection items. And one of those items I was proud to see was this. They just released these jumbo pins from Toy Story. Um, I was told that they are going to be doing a lot of Toy Story merch over the next couple of months leading up to the movie coming out in June. So it's February now. That means there's March, April, May, June. Four more months to come before the movie starts. They came out with a four set from the first film in that series one of four. I'm told the next month we'll have pins from the second movie. The next month after that we'll have pins from the third movie and then finally they will have pins to go along with the fourth movie. That's the rumor. That's what I heard from one cast member. I'm not 100% sure because you asked a different cast member and they don't really know what the one out of four correlates to but that's what she told me and this is coming from the Glendale Galleria store. So they're actually the first ever Disney store in the United States so if that's what they told me I'm going with it. I'm hoping that's the truth because that's really cool if it's going to be one from each movie. But anyway, I didn't get those pins just yet, but when I went to my store, they didn't have them released, but they had this one, so I picked this one up. And this is the Owl's Toys Barn, Owl's, Owl's, I can't say this word, Owl's Toy Barn Jumbo Pin. This is all one pin, and you can see it's Owl, the um, guy that owns the toy store in the third movie, and it says Owl McWiggin, and it says Owl's Toys Barn. The third movie? Second movie? Third movie. They go to the toy store. I've seen all the movies and now they're like blending in. When he meets Jesse, he's about to go to Japan. So yes, it's the third movie. In the third movie! No, in the second movie. So this is actually from the second film because he's about to go to Japan, he's trying to steal him and set him off, and the third movie is when they are in the daycare. Okay, there we go. There we go, guys. Anyway, so this is Al McWiggin, and you can see that it has a little sign from his store. It says Al's Toy Barn, and it has him in the chicken suit. So it's a really cute big pin. And the other cool thing about this pin is it only was $14.95, so not that expensive for what the price, for what the uh, size is, I thought. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I had to go and get that. And then the other item that I was as excited, if not more excited to see, 
was this really cool set, which I think was originally released in the Asian countries, in Shanghai, I think I saw this, and maybe even Japan. And they just released this here, and it's the Monsters, Inc. set! And this is actually from the first film, when they eat in that restaurant, and they're having the, the first date with Mike and his girlfriend, Cecilia. I just like that, you know, you can see all the different monster food from that film, and you have, like, a little box. Like, it's like when you go to any, like... Asian takeout or Chinese restaurant. This is like the signature box. Like, you know, we might have like rice in here or maybe there's dumplings or something. So I think that's really cool. You have like the, the box. You have a little uh, sushi here with an eyeball on it. You have the Monsters Inc. Uh, logo right there. And then you have what looks like a piece of sushi with a monster tail coming out of it. And finally, a ball of googly eyeballs. I mean, how cute is this? And this is from the, um, the restaurant. I think it's called Harry something. And the reason I know that is because it's on the receipt. What does it say? It says Harry H. Pin set. So I think the name of the restaurant is Harry H. or H. Harry something. It's been a while since I've seen Monsters University and Monsters Inc. But it's just such a fun film. And I saw this and I loved this theme. I do have a little small um, Monsters Inc. collection growing now. Not too many. But this is just a fun set, so I was really excited they released this. From that same run, I actually got the um, the the banner that you, that came along with the Wisdom Collection that has a quote. Um, it's fun. To, it's kind of fun to do the impossible on it it's by Walt Disney, and I filmed that. So I'm going to insert that footage separately because I already had filmed that previously. I broke down, and I got this. Now I had the chance to buy this when it was first released. This was part of the Dumbo Wisdom Collection and they were selling this as well and it says it's kind of fun to do the impossible it's a quote from walt disney and it's a pendant banner and i didn't get it because i thought it was kind of wrinkly that was kind of small i didn't know i was going to put this on my wall i do like the mickey mouse dowels this was twenty dollars which is kind of a lot of money i think i don't think that's worth it however i wanted the pin and i broke down and i got it for that reason so let me show you the pin that came with it. This is a free pen and it's pretty big. I don't remember it being this big so I went ahead and I bought this because actually when I was in the Disney store I was making a return. I'll just give you guys a backstory. I was making a return to get some money back because I was like I don't really need this. Let's let's be honest and while I was there I just asked do you have one of the wisdom banner and they said actually somebody just returned it. I kid you not like 20 minutes ago and they had this and the banner and I found out that this actually was sold out online that people were buying the banner and not getting their free pin, so I thought it was a sign. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy the damn pin and get it. So that's what I did. <laughs> so this is a pin, and you can see it also has the quote from Walt right there. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. It's a pretty big Mickey size pin. I do have a Mickey collection behind me. I have another pin board over there that you guys can't see out of frame, it's near my desk. And in that board, I have more of my Walt Disney slash, um, slash castle and balloon pin so it's kind of like my parks collection balloons castles and walt disney inspired pins so that is where my big mickey head is going to go i thought that'd be appropriate to have that pin and i was just like i need to get that so in addition to the pin that i just showed you i also purchased one more item and that was one of the valentine's day pins so i was looking at my pin collection when i was putting my board together and i noticed is there a weird light going on here? Sorry for the odd reflection behind me. There's like a weird halo of light right here. But anyway, um, I noticed when I was putting my pin board together that I was missing an I'll Be Your Mickey pin. I had the I'll Be Your Mini one, but not the Mickey one from Box Lunch. So they had these on sale for $5 at the Disney store, and I decided to go ahead and buy it. So this is the I'll Be Your Mickey pin at the Disney store, and I do like this little cute heart-shaped uh, backdrop, background backing card. I cannot talk today. But I do like this little postcard, I should say. It kind of looks like a postcard, but it's not a postcard. Um, but it's it mimics one, and it says to and from, and it's got Mickey and Minnie kissing in the corner, and it's like a little Valentine's Day-esque, and I thought this would be cute to add to my collection for $5. It's hard for me to say no to a pin, and I think it's cute, so I went ahead and did it. Just two more items that I got from my Wisdom Collection haul run, and that was this pin set. They actually had two of these on sale. They have all the duo sets right now. If you buy any of the duo pins, it's buy one, get one 50% off, 
which means that I paid $12.95 for one of these and I paid about $7 for the other. And I hadn't previously purchased either of these. Although I had considered getting the Timon and Pumbaa one and I didn't, so now I went ahead and grabbed it. So this one has Timon and Pumbaa and Timon has the little sign that says something stinks and of course it's pointing to Pumbaa because who else would be stinky but Pumbaa himself. And then I went ahead and I broke down and got the Flotsam and Jetsam pin. Now this one is interesting because this is from The Little Mermaid and it has this chain that they are attached to as well as a lightning bolt. And the lightning bolt is sort of like King Triton's uh, strike on them. You can see there's like a chain element that dangles. And this is something that is just different, I thought. So even though I originally had decided to pass on this one, when I saw this in the store again and it was buy one half off, I said, okay, I'll go ahead and grab it. So I did. Okay, up next, I want to show what I got from the Disney store. But this is actually from the Disney store outlet, and I never actually showed the haul of my most recent trip on this channel. If you want to see that video, I'll put it up in the top. You guys can see the link of my footage from my most recent shopping trip. This is everything that was in the outlet as of the month of February. I went there around mid-February, second week or so, and again, I will put the link just so you can go watch it if you want to. But there were a couple items that they had there that I could not pass up, and one of those was this towel set. It's a Little Mermaid towel set, and a lot of you guys know that I love The Little Mermaid, and this has Ariel on the top and Flounder, as well as a flower in his mouth. And this is just a really cute set. Um, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the second towel that came with this. It's just a very plain sea design with this like green and, and green and blue and beige uh, palette. However, I like this one and it had Ariel on it. So I decided to go ahead and grab this. And the retail price was $8.99. I believe when I bought this, everything was 25% off still. So I got an additional discount and I just love this. Maybe it, actually it wasn't the sale yet. I think I went before that sale went into place. So it's been a while. Nope, not that one either. My receipt's somewhere in this bag, I think. But at any rate, $8.95 wasn't a bad deal for some towels that I thought would be treasured in my house. Okay, so it was $8.99. However, I used my 10% discount, so the price of this came out to $8 for this kitchen set. And I do have one other kitchen set that I previously got from the outlet that I love, and this will go along with that as well. The next item that I got from the outlet uh, store was this one. This came from the Disney Store outlet, and these are a pair of ears that I have seen in the parks. My guess is that they're just continuing this now, which is why they were on sale, but you can see this bright bling bling purple bow with this softer black felt fabric. And what's unique about these ears is that they're actually meant to be embroidered in the park if you so choose. So there's this Velcro right here that you can undo and um, put a needle in between to put your name. Otherwise, I just or I have the flap just like this. And actually, at the end of December, when I went and met Enchanted Rita, another YouTuber, in Disneyland, I remember we both were looking at these in the um, the dress shop store and we were remarked about how pretty they were, but I thought it was weird they had the second flap. However, they were full price at that point, so that was $27.99. And these are on sale for only $5.99. So a pair of $5.99 ears, I could not pass up. I really knew I wanted to have this. Purple is my color. I love these ears and I love that price. And then again, with the discount, I think they came out to about $5. So let's see, I paid $5.39 total for those embroidery ears. So not a bad deal for a pair of official Disney ears, I thought, why not? Next, they had a couple of different pin sets I showed in that video. And although I liked a lot of them, I only ended up buying two. And I got these, one for trade, one for keeps. And these are the cupcake pin sets that were around last year. I never actually bought these when they were full price because the price was $29.95. However, you guys can see that I paid the retail price of $6.99 plus my 10% discount. So it came out to $6.30 total each for these. And I thought that was a great deal for a pair of seven pins. These are seven pin sets. You have Goofy, you have Pluto, you have Donald, you have Mickey, Minnie Mouse with the polka dots. I love that one. This one I'm assuming is more like a Tinkerbell because you have the Tinkerbell blue in the hair. It kind of reminds me of Tinkerbell. And then this one looks like it's Daisy because it has the uh, pink bow and I like the ears going through the cupcake wrapper. So these are fun and I do like that the Fab Six is represented here plus, plus Tinkerbell. So that is a very cool design and yeah, so I got two of them. 
On that same trip, my daughter happened to be with me, so I couldn't leave without getting her one plushie at least. And they had this really cute Minnie Mouse stretching plush. You can see her arms come out other side. I did see they were selling these at Character Warehouse as well. So this is cool that this came all the way to the Disney Store outlet, um, the local st outlets around the country as well. And I do like that this is a Minnie Mouse plush because we only have two Mickeys in our house. We don't have any Minnie Mouse plushes until now. And she stretches, she's fun, she's interactive. And my daughter wanted her and the price was right. This was only $6.99. The original price in the parks was $20, which $20 is standard for a Disney plush, but you know, you only can buy so many before you're just like, this is a lot of money for a plush. So $6.99 I thought was a much better deal. And that's her beautiful face. Another pin that they had was this one right here, and it is this Chip and Dale headphone set. It has musical notes. It took me a while to figure out what this was, but I saw the price in the store. It was only $2.99, and it was one of those pins that I was like, I cannot pass it up. And now I actually see it every time I look at it. It's like a pair of headphones with Chip and Dale in the center. It's a cute pin. I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep this for my own collection or as a trader, but I do know that the original price in the parks is $12.99 because it's got the yellow tag. So $3 for a $12.99 pin, I thought was a great deal. My son wants to join us. Hello! Yeah, and he's got a little bit of a sickness, so he's actually being a very good sport for not being 100% still. The last pin that I got, I actually did not buy that trip, but it was still there a week later. I went back to the outlets after filming because a fellow YouTuber had asked me to buy her one of the purses that I saw, and I said no problem. Went and picked that up, and then they still had a couple of these, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And this is one of the ornament pins that came out last year. It says Disneyland Hotel, and you can see it says Happy Holidays 2018. And when you open it up, there's Tinkerbell in the side. So I actually just saw one of my friends, Karen USA Adventures, um, open this on her channel, and I'm assuming she probably paid full price when she had... Her person picked this up for her, so it was pretty cool to see that they had these in the outlets for a discounted price, which means that they didn't sell all of them. They had a, a, an abundance, but this originally was $16.99 in the parks, and I got this for $5.99, um, and I actually picked this one up for a future giveaway. So I'm part of a couple of co collaborations coming up. You guys will see this again. This is not going to be given away right now, but in the future, this is for one of you guys. And that was the run of pins that I got this past month at the regular Disney Store and the Disney Store Outlet. So I'm going to show you one more thing as part of this haul just because it's a Disney Store as well, but not a lot of people have it. And it's the Disney Studio Store in Hollywood. There's only one, um, which is in California, and this is the store that's right next to the El Capitan Theater, the official Disney theater where they do premieres for all the Disney films. I can't wait until Lion King comes out later this summer. I'm actually really digging that preview. I'm probably gonna see Aladdin as well. All of these movies that are from my childhood, I can't wait to see the live action films. I can't help it. Um, but at any rate, while I was there, I picked up a couple of pins. I can't show you all of them because I did go ahead and trade one of them already. I'll just insert a picture and it was the Klauhauser PTD pin. I think I put this on my Instagram as well that I had him. So I had him for a time, but I went ahead and traded that one for a pin that I'm really excited to open. I just got her package in the mail yesterday. It's sitting on my bed right now. And I'm like so excited to go ahead and film that um, and open it. But uh, at any rate, they released these ice cream pins and I did not go the day they were released. However, I, I did not go the morning they were released because it's one of those 6.30 in the morning releases. You have to be there at 3 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the morning to claim your spot in line. I just don't have the stamina to keep on doing that. I did that once. I showed that in my video. If you guys want to see what the process is like, I will again insert the link so you guys can see what waiting in the Disney Studio store in Hollywood is like. Um, but the next week, there was a different pin after that I filmed that. And... A different pin release and it was these ice creams and I didn't want to wait in the morning however I saw one of my Instagram friends post it about an hour um, before I actually even saw this so it came into my feed it said posted an hour ago and I looked at my clock and I was like it's around noon what are the chances they still have those pins we were in the car I was driving so I was just like you know what we're gonna drive to the Disney Studio store in Hollywood on the way home and I pulled over to the side while my husband and my kids were in the car and I got away with this because I was driving. If he was driving, we just would have just gone right home. But I was like, you guys, I'm going to idle right here. I'm going to jump out of the car and go see if they still have those pins. I ran out, 
saw in the front pin display that they had these listed and I was like yes and I went out and I grabbed it at the time that I went they actually had all four pins for sale still I'm kind of bummed that I didn't buy a third because afterwards I had another person ask me if I had the Baymax one and I said no I'm so sorry to not pick that one up but these are the two that I did pick up so I got the Jessica Rabbit one and it is a ice cream flavor. You can see it has ice cream in the scooper and then you also have the ice cream tub with Jessica Rabbit's face and it says Jessica's Starberry and it has a strawberry design on the ice cream itself. Let me go ahead and open this up so you guys can see, get a better look. But these are pins that are unique to the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. They're only sold there and there is Jessica's face with this strawberry design. I thought that was a cute nice limited edition pin and I'm a big ice cream fan so I decided that I would want to get this for my collection um these were $18.95 by the way retail price each I'm sure they're probably going for a ton more online I haven't looked but this one was a limited edition size of 300 and all of them were you guys can see what the back looks like with the ice cream cones etched on the back it says limited edition and yeah this is what the pin looked like. So I thought this was a really fun pin. So if I can't block out the light completely, I'll try to do a close-up if it doesn't come out that clearly, but holding my baby is a little harder to, <laughs> to film this. But I thought that was a really fun pin, and I wanted the Jessica Rabbit one for myself because I love strawberry ice cream, and I like Jessica Rabbit. However, I got this one for trade, and she is still for trade. I'm holding out for the right pin to trade for, but this is what I have right now. This is Judy Hopps, and you can see she's got more of like a cookie dough. Oh, no, it's carrot cake. She has a carrot cake flavored ice cream, which actually makes sense that her flavor would be carrot cake because she's a rabbit. So yeah, I'm not a big Zootopia collector, but I know a lot of people are. If you're interested in this pin and you're watching this, feel free to reach out to me because she is for trade. I guess I would sell her if uh, I can't trade for the right thing, but I've found, I kind of regretted trading my um, extra Mulan lunchtime pill, lunchtime series um, pin so quickly last time and I realized I should have held on to her a little bit longer because I probably could have gotten a better pin for her. So that's what I'm doing with Judy Hopps. I'm trying to hold out for the right pin to trade for because you never know. And this happened that I happened to have uh, another pin. It was the Clawhauser PTD. Another person wanted that and they had the Windows of Magic pin that I was so bummed that I missed out on. So I was very happy to make that trade and for that reason I'm going to just be picky and trade her for the right pin. I'm not gonna just let her go just because I have to wait. I have to wait. That's the whole purpose of having these pins. But yeah, those are my pins that I got from the store. And then while I was there, I also picked up this traditional El Capitan Mickey and Minnie pin. And this is just an open edition pin that they have all the time with them. And I grabbed this one because I actually do have a little bit of a movie reel collection um, on my pin board behind me. And I decided why not add the official El Capitan one to go along with that. And you can see it's got like palm trees and it's very classic Hollywood look. And I've been looking at this pin for a year and they always have this, like I said, but for some reason I just wanted to go ahead and grab this while I have the chance. And this retails for $9.95. And that is all of my pins this time around, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my haul from the Disney Store and the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. If you like pins, if you like the plushie better, if you like the um i guess that's majority of what i got i got pins and blushy this time around oh the mug you like if you like the mug if, are we mug twins so let me know if you are a fan of the wisdom collection if you're a fan of all these different items that disney store keeps coming out with i think these selections are great and of course it's just enabling my new pin addiction um yeah so let me know and i will be looking forward to talking to you guys very very soon i have a disneyland haul I'm finally going to show you everything I got from the past month. I'm hoping to add one more pin to that collection, which is why I haven't uploaded that yet. But that'll be coming up very soon. And then I have my Hong Kong and Shanghai and Japan, my Tokyo Disney um, pins that are for the Lunar New Year that I'll be uh, sharing that as well, even though we're now past the Lunar New Year. I'm still going to do that video because I'm really excited about those pins and adding that to my collection. And then I also have a Disney unboxing that I'm so excited to come yeah. up on my channel very, very soon. So please keep on watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will talk to you all in my next video. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>